Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the shop and looking at the new cars, we have two new cars. The first one being the Hammer EV. This is another electric vehicle, but you can switch it to gas if you want to, but I'm not too sure if it's any better. And here are the customizations for it. This car has a really low score at 460 and a horsepower of 999. And keeping this below 400, it might actually be pretty good. And it's able to get around 200 miles per hour. Moving on to the other new car, we have a go-kart. And we now have a new highest score vehicle at 4,920. And it has a horsepower of 1,303. And this car actually has no customizations. And for a tune for this, make sure to put all the gears all the way to the left. And then the last one, make it to where it's around 240 miles per hour. As you can see, this car doesn't have too good of a top speed, but the acceleration is really good. Now moving on to the big change of this update, they have brought a brand new map, Race World. And here we are in the brand new map. This place looks really cool. Oh, and it seems like there is a part over here. For the next part, head down to this intersection right here. And you'll see the part right here. For the next part, head over to this intersection right here. And you'll see the part right up on this hill. And for the next part, head over to this speed trap right here. And under the bridge, you will see the next part. And for the last part in Race World, head over to the drag strip and on this ramp over here. And you'll be able to collect your 25,000, which will allow you to earn the Inferno later. And since I'm here, these are the brand new weekly challenges with a new drag car, which this might be the best drag car in the game. And with that being said, let's go back to the USA map and grind the rest of these challenges so we can check out this new Inferno car. And there we go, we have finished basically all the quests. The last one we need is the five parts in the USA map, which I'll show you right now. Starting off with the part in the very bottom left of the map. Head over to this race right here. And you'll see the part right under this bridge. For the next part, head over to this race right here, Tunnel Sprint. And heading up this hill, you'll see the part. but it's kind of hard to get it because your car slides. The way you can get it is just walking up here and spawning your car and then your car will just break it. You don't even have to go fast to break it now. Heading on to the next part, head over to this race right here. And going up here, you'll see the part right next to this ramp. Now for the next part, head over to this race right here. And you'll see the part right over here. And for the very last part, head over to this trailer delivery spot right here. And right on top of the dealership, you'll see the very last part. And with that, you'll be given the Inferno. 
And you can also earn the Rotary Extreme if you want this. And here's Inferno. Listen to how good this sounds. This is probably my favorite sounding car in the game. And at stock, it has a score of 1,893 and a horsepower of 2,023. And the best tune for this car that I've found is just taking the final drive down until it gets to around 470 miles per hour. And this car only has front mods, which are all the basic ones. And here I'll show you an automatic first. As you can see in automatic, it can get around eight seconds. It can get to 7.9 if you're lucky. And now I'll show you it in manual. And here it is in manual. As you can see, this car is really good and it's definitely better than the Drag Pal. If you get the perfect shifts, you can get around 7.6. So it's definitely worth it to grind for this car. Now heading on to some of the other changes. If you go into the inside of the Hyper 1, you can see that the gauge clusters work in here. The same for the Roadster and also for the Mixture. And if you bring out the Nightline S34, you can see that they have added a new livery onto it. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update. And I'm going to be dropping a new video showing all the races in Race World. And I'll see you in the next video.